All right, Sasha, the Quirkles, Terry Johnson here with the Quirkles, here again with another fun experience. You know, I've never gotten to do this. I know, I'm Rob, excited for Rob this. Rob gets all the fun, but finally I'm here. Wore the bow tie just for this occasion. Got my Mr. Wizard going on. That's right, and I'm excited for <laughs> so, you to do this, Chris, because you ask every time. But today we are going to do bubbles. Okay, we are, are fun. ending the summer, so it seems like it's appropriate to kind of end in a fun way. Kids are back in school. Teachers might need a quick outdoor lesson just to keep the kids calm and learn something too. Okay. Now, what a lot of people don't know in the Quirkle series, there were some Quirkles that did not make the cut and be published and okay. bubbly Bert is one of them because Aww. for various reasons but I still love the experiment okay. so anyway so bubbles I want to show you that we can do bubbles in the traditional way just uh, with your bubble wands that you buy just take that Chris and just slowly move just that slowly. and see if you can get and kind of just go that way and see very nice very nice and so you know kids can just do that forever and just well, make well. bubbles. It's a lot of fun, kind of mesmerizing, <laughs> but pretty traditional. You can even buy kind of expensive buy the toys, bubble the bubble guns, you know, <laughs> sometimes work, sometimes don't. You know, they're fine. That you can <laughs> spend a lot of money on and do, and do that. But what I wanted to show you is that you can actually use your recycling bin to make some really cool bubble blowers. Okay, so what do we And got? this is a water bottle or a Coke bottle, and I've already made yours, but I wanted to show them how to do it. Just it says, hold that. It says Rob on you, there. You've taught, yeah, just so I wanted you to know that you were going to have a clean one that I hadn't put my <laughs> mouth on. So hold that. We okay. have cut the bottom of that. I'm going to place just a white sock over it. So okay, it doesn't show. matter like the thickness of the sock? Yeah, or it you know, matter. you can experiment with that. I would kind of go with the lightweight running sock. Okay. Uh, that's what this is. And then you can just strap it on with a rubber band. Or just put the rubber band on it? Yeah. Okay. Like that. So that's how you can make your own bubble blower. Now, just okay. dip the end of it. Now, Rob, if you were working, I know you're getting ready to have a child here soon. So <laughs> when you are working with your son on blowing bubbles and doing this, and I know you will, be sure that you tell him to blow out, out and not, not blow in. in because sometimes oh. young kids do do that and it's, yeah. it's kind of yucky. So put that okay. down like Doesn't this. How, how deeper. No, just put it like that and then just start blowing and see what kind of effect that you I can get. I will see if this actually works. That's cool. You know, I hope my... And then see how long you can predict if you can get it to go to, ah, very nice. How quickly you can get it to go to the table. Very nice. <laughs> Snake bubbles. Now, Snake bubbles. I like that. if that's not that's cool. fun enough, and that will entertain kids for hours, take your, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. take your food coloring. Now, this can kind of get messy. Coloring. I'm going to use uh, blue and yellow just okay. put drops of food coloring on the end of your wet uh oh <laughs> yeah so you can imagine See, they're, they're this. already wet so and a little yellow so i got i have red and blue you have red and blue and let's see if we can't get a little <laughs> oh, my bit fingers more are all food color. Oh. <laughs> so this, this will be messy for the kids, kids this like messy. could be messy for the kids and as you can see but i would suggest that you probably do this outside yes i and would then, recommend that and then Ugh. That's cool. And now, because, and now we have mixed our yellow and blue, and we have green bubbles. I don't think I put enough red on And mine. lots of fun. You didn't. And you're getting ready. You have nice and blue. And kids can take these. This is awesome. These are called snake bubbles again? They're called snake bubbles. And, you know, you're using them with things that you have at home from your recycling bin. So it's great. You can talk about surface tension. You can talk about how light yes, reflects and refracts. You can talk about the properties of water, hydrophilic, hydro uh, water properties. So there's just so many different areas of science that you can talk about with bubbles and still why the kids are having a wonderful time. Well, that, you know, they're also going to have a lot of fun. It, Anything messy that's is right. fun for kids. That's so right. this will be a, a, a wonderful experiment. Uh, uh, of course, to try it at home with your kids, again, you might want to yeah, you just, might want to work prepare less. to get messy. That's all I'm saying, especially with the food color. That's right. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for uh, coming in. Oh, uh, Chris, where, it's always fun. And where can people find more information uh, about Quirkles? At Quirkles.com on our website, Ozark's first website, and at Fiction Packs and Fun. Again, uh, Terry, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Yeah, I'm very happy I have to do Quirkles because I know once oh. Rob comes back, he's, yeah, he's going yeah, to take bummed. the segment back from it. That's but. right.